Stay until the end, we will explain what trick there is when removing and replacing dog lock actuator. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 or 4 series. And if you guys need to remove or replace front door lock actuators, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. It's very important to watch until the end because there is a trick how you actually remove it, guys. Now, uh, if you want to know the symptoms of bad door lock actuator, how to repair door lock actuator, all that will be on our channel. Check it out, guys. We have multiple videos. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. Before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We constantly take them apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools for your BMW or any car, check out the link in the description of the video below guys. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Check it out. So let's go ahead start on it now so what we need to do first right here this cover needs to come out guys okay this cover will need to be removed if it has a few clips so let's go ahead and do that now so we will start with panel removal too do not do this part first you're going to start from the top you have one clip that goes in this angle so you need to do that clip last because it's need it needs to kind of like slide towards the front it's very important guys okay to remember that so you can see so we start like that slowly we pull out slowly and it came out okay this is the clip that we need to slide you can see in that spring over here otherwise it can damage it guys now uh, what do we have here here it's a Torx guys Torx 25 or Torx 30 okay one bolt hard to see I think it's Torx 25 let's try Torx 25 okay one on top perfect and then we'll have one on the bottom so that's what we're working on now i didn't see that that hole here that's a little bit disturbing here perfect working on the second one now okay let's go ahead and find it maybe sometime today okay we're going to probably get it sometime soon let me see now okay make sure that it's the right there okay first time so we got that one now guys you have hidden things here if you remove the door panel you will not be able to disconnect the window switch so first we need to go ahead and disconnect remove the window switch and we'll explain okay how to do that now so the window switch you have four metal clips two on this side two on the other side so we're going to get a plastic panel removal tool okay this is one of the metal clips right there let's press this one in okay we might need to get a small screwdriver to push that one in because i will not be able guys okay i want to show you where that clip is it's that shiny little thing right there so let's go ahead push that in only in okay let me get one more two one second i need to work with two of them okay let's press on the clip now okay it didn't come out he has one more towards the front too let me see where the other one is okay right there well the thing is it's a little bit of a mess whoever designed that thing okay i can see it towards the front there okay we have these two clips that we need to press one here and one on the front right there more a little bit to the front right there yep okay let's see now so let us show you now about our window switch right here there will be hidden clips one two you have three four but you have a hard time getting them out you come on the front if you come towards the front you lift up a little bit on the front and it kind of like slides and then to the front it comes out one clip here on the front guys two on the back you can see this one just slide out so the clip that we have on the front okay 
it's that clip okay right there that I think it was supposed to be that way okay that clip is this way you're supposed to push it in this clip on the front you push that one in you lift up then you come on the back okay and you slide it back now we can disconnect the window switch okay like that press down and pull it out you can see just like that we got it out so now we shouldn't have any more screws we should be able to practically remove the door panel with a panel removal tool we're going to get usually on the front okay and you're going to start getting these clips loose sometimes when you get your hands underneath you can start pulling if a clip breaks we'll put a link where you can buy replacement clips at a really good price because sometimes they will break sometimes they'll be exposed to a lot of heat guys during the years so they can actually break okay this one we're going to lift up there you can see it has it has metal clips here pull up more okay that thing will come out now we need to disconnect guys the cables you can do it in two ways from the inner door handle or from here guys so well whatever is more convenient for you here it's very easy you can just pull it that way pull it like that okay you can see and uh, the only thing that we need to do now here we have one clip okay okay we need to get a clip removal too to pull that wire and that's the window switch connector you can see how we cannot reach the window switch here oh careful this is the light okay this is the light for the uh, door panel and here this is the flood uh, the light when you open on the bottom okay so it can actually illuminate underneath so door panel you can see came out just like that so now watch now the clips sometimes you're going to get those uh, uh, rubber bushings you need to install them so that way the panel doesn't vibrate and you don't have noises later if any of the clips uh, comes off you just slide it out okay if it came off and it's stuck on the door you remove it and you push it back on the panel if it's broken you just replace it with a new one guys we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get one from let's explain where all the clips are located so you know what to expect from the back side of the door panel okay. we're missing one thing still here okay let's see if that door has been removed before because i do not see actually one soft bushing is missing so we'll need to buy a replacement one here but starting here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine clips that we have to remove that door panel now so we will demonstrate on that three series but four series will be exactly the same guys let's explain how to do that now if you have the one with the keyless entry you may have an extra cable we do not have keyless entry we have the lightning okay uh, uh, the exterior lightning package only right here so how do we remove that thing we're going to remove that seal here and carefully right now without damaging it be very careful next right here with our wrench i think it's a four millimeter there is one screw that we're going to unscrew all the way guys check this thing out keep unscrewing keep doing that right we keep doing it we keep doing it still going so now when it starts getting loose okay that handle will be stuck okay the screw is still there but that handle will be stuck what you need to do open this one a little bit so we have room to move wiggle and wiggle it without grabbing the light underneath okay and you need to kind of like give it a little bit of a shake and pull at the same time okay let me see now Okay, let me see if that screw is still holding. Let's unscrew a little bit more. Okay, that's it. You think that the screw is all the way unscrewed, but it's not. That can that cap here, the cylinder door lock, can be stuck really bad as well. Okay, because you may have a lot of dust, dirt, contamination, and that can prevent it, guys. Okay, you can see from coming out as well that's how it goes and kind of like it comes in an angle so the cylinder door lock came out of here just like that so this is the door handle now guys the exterior door handle 
let's see if we can remove the light a little bit out of here okay pull it towards the back careful because that thing will want to slide out you need to come in an angle like that pull out twist this way if you have the uh, keyless entry you may have a wire here that you need to disconnect and you can see that thing came out of here just like that so next thing we're going to remove that insulation here careful not to cut the wires we'll get a knife later i want to show you something watch we cut it but if we press it later in it glues together so this is really good let's let's cut it again here because i, I wanted to demonstrate you how everything will attach later so we're going to just go ahead if you pull on the foam too much it will break later you have wind noise heat cold coming in insulation will be compromised so we'll go ahead guys okay do that to the rest of it and we're going to come back okay in a little bit we just need to do all the way to the front and the sides to clear it all the way and we'll continue after that so we're almost towards the end guys we are about to go ahead okay and open it all the way uh, careful not to touch it on the ground or something like that because if the glue uh, catches dust rocks sand something like that it will not reseal correctly later and we're going to go ahead do the rest of it here and you can see how much the door opens up we have a special video that will explain how to make your bmw more quiet and uh, we'll be doing that procedure to this one as well because you can definitely hear some wind road noise on this newer car sometimes so what do we need to do next let's go ahead continue we'll actually need to go ahead and install our master window switch so we're installing the master window switch let's go ahead okay reconnecting okay perfect just like that one okay let me resituate it now okay so we can see what exactly is happening here like that and we go like this one we close it now uh let's see if we have the ignition on yep uh, nope we don't have the key let me grab the key quick okay so we can pass it so we can turn the ignition switch on okay now let's see perfect let's turn the music off we turn the lights off okay perfect let's go ahead and we're going to roll the window down now we're going to turn the fan and things like that off okay we keep rolling it down rolling it down okay no nope, we need to go up a little bit let's see a little bit more a little bit oh okay this one is ready this one we can access both of them so we're good just like that we can turn ignition switch off now okay. next we're going to disconnect guys that wire let me explain here what we have we have these two notches we're going to press towards each other if it doesn't want to come out go up push it up press on those and then pull it out okay let's see yep it disconnected perfect next we're going to get guys okay pliers and we're going to squeeze that okay that wire right here that uh, cable here needs to push in all right a couple knots 10 millimeter perfect now need to remember how everything comes in comes out okay the motor we need to push it out now with the regulators guys okay we'll come in pieces let's see now one okay i'm going to start this one start coming out okay here okay the cable perfect the other one watch now that's how it stays in the car that's how it's installed guys so window regulator came out you can see just like that so we're going to get a torx 30 guys uh, we we'll need to do them by hand uh, i don't know if the machine will be able to take them off loose because they're usually really tight this one and these two here so three of them that you need to remove okay this pre loosened that's perfect so I think we should be able to get this one out before we continue let me see if I can disconnect that wire here okay and that wire you're going to squish on each side 
Okay, that's a connector. We're going to squish on each side and pull it out. Two more on this side. Perfect one. And now pre loosening the second one. Okay, we're going to get the impact to help us a little bit. Perfect, let's see if we can remove the door lock actuator without removing actually the exterior door handle assembly. Here, this thing, okay, that's the lock. Rod right here, it needs to come in an angle like that. Okay, let me see if it's going to come out or it's not going to come out. No, we will need to do that one outside. It will not come out now. So, <laughs> let's see if we have anything else holding. Oh, if we guys, okay, actually have that assembly coming together, okay, with the exterior door handle. Let's see if we can disconnect them. So, it looks like they're hanging. So, the easiest way for me to be is to remove the exterior door handle assembly at the same time. So, uh, this cap right here, careful not to break them. This one came out. Perfect. Under this one, we have a Torx 25 or Torx 20, one of the two. It's very little. Okay, this bolt right there. Just, we need to pre loosen that one only. Do not take it all the way off. No, it's not in. Let's see if it's a 20. Yeah, did this one. Okay, like that. That's enough. Now we can slide it to the front. Grab the handle assembly. Careful your light not to break. Okay, you're going to pull it out. Like that. <coughs> Let's see in what angle we need to turn that thing. Okay, so the locking rod can come out as well because it looks like Okay, oh, it just came out, okay, you can just pull it straight out. That's great. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here, okay, we have two wires that we'll need to disconnect. Okay, you can see this is the door lock actuator with the exterior door handle assembly, okay, that we have installed right here now. We're going to get the panel removal too, and we're going to remove now Okay, the wires here, the connectors, the clips, holding it to the door lock actuator. Careful not to break it, this is the illuminating light. Here we have one more that we need to do. Perfect, and all we have to do is disconnect it by lifting that thing up and pulling the wire out. At the same time. Okay, I might need to get a small screwdriver. Let me see. Perfect. And came out, you can see. Now if we need to disconnect these two, you're going to pull a little bit to the outside. I need to grab it with two hands, quick. Okay, pull on the phone. Pull, and now pull up, pull out. Okay, and we have it stick right here as well perfect and door lock actuator and exterior door handle assembly came out you can see just like that so this is guys the door lock actuator that's what it looks like if you guys uh, need to buy a new one we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from for a really good price and quick shipping and uh, they're not very hard to put together everything just goes back in reverse order we took it apart you can watch the video if you have any questions let us know if you want to see anything else specifically on bmw 3 or 4 series let us know guys because we're constantly making videos and we're constantly trying to save people money thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time